put two coats of teak oil on my double sticks here. My twins, we'll call them. I just put a black foot on this one. No big deal there. But on the top here, I've glued a glass ball. So I think that looks pretty cool. We're going to see uh, what I come up with next on these. We'll be working on them later today. But I do like that. My other stick. Nothing. We're going to put a copper foot on that one. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I put a 2024 20, penny on that. Now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pour this, try and get that somewhat level, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll get me a little bit of tape out here. Now I'm not, I'm not going to go up too high with this but I am going to put the tape on fairly high. Hmm. I think that looks pretty good like that. And when I come back, I'll have the resin all mixed up. I've got it right here. And we'll pour that. So I'll bring you back when I get everything all mixed up. All right, so I got my stuff out here. I'm gonna be using for my color is gonna be a moss green. So I marked this cup A for resin A. some in this. I'm gonna do first line. Whoa, we have spillage. Carelessness. 7.5 mil millimeters. Let's don't put A in both of them though. Could be bad. Did never dry. We're going to do the same on this one. No spillage. important to mark your caps is the substance in them doesn't dry so there's always a little left over no matter how hard you try so I'll just make them glue together So now we're going to give this a little stir. Actually, we're going to give it a big stir. We're going to start for about a minute here. I would recommend doing it longer, but I have such a small amount here that I'm not too worried about it right now. Got a little 
bit left in here. I'm going to pour some more of it in there and start a little bit longer. And I'll turn these cups upside down on a paper towel and let them drain. I won't do it down here. It's a little bit breezy today, so take them up and get them out of the wind. All right. A little bit longer stirring here. Is that enough to worry about in those cups? No, yeah, probably not. Am I going to have enough to do everything I want to do? Eh, probably not. But we're going to try it. All right. Some of you might think this is overkill. Some of you might think it's not enough. But I'm going to put one scoop in this. go with that. Looking awful gold colored. We aren't going to be able to see that. That was close. Anyway, we're going to put a little in here to start. Like that. Should level itself out there. Okay. Next day, bringing this bad boy out here. This one here is the shorter stick of the two. We're going to unravel it, I hope. Never done this before, so let's see how it looks. Mm, a little thick there. All right. I actually like that pretty well. For my first pour, doesn't look too bad. Now the problem I'm having here is, which I was afraid of, there's a penny in there and there is no sign of it. We'll see once I get it down to depth, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to show up. But I'm all right with that. Got my helper here with me. Uh, he's loving life right now. Aren't you? Good old Thor. Let me go to stay right quick before I show you the final products there. Went out up on the Columbia River the other day and got myself a walking stick. It was pretty small on it. Probably would have been for a child, not for an adult. And put it in the back of the car and went out looking for more walking sticks and found a good spot. And so I stopped and looked in the back and they've been chewing on my walking stick. Yep. That wasn't it. I got six sticks from this one spot and he decided he wanted another one of them. So be careful when you have your dog that likes to chew on things. Because they'll chew on your walking sticks if they're done. Fortunately, no harm, no foul. All right, the first one, copper tip. Did a little bit of different lanyard on this one. 
and a different wrap. It's basically, basically like you would tie your shoes. It's a knot, and then you flip it half a turn, and you do another knot. Half of the knot. So, basically, over and under, and that's it. You know, you're not like that when you're tying your shoes. So, did that all the way down. It didn't turn out too bad. And then the second stick. It's got the rubber foot. It's got the ball on top. It's got the camel colored wrap. Got a nice little lanyard here. Put your hand right through it like that, and there you go. Of course, you couldn't see that, but anyway, you get the idea. So these two sticks are done. All right, get back. So I hope you like this series of the twin sticks off the same alder tree. I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. I'm currently working on another stick. You can't see it, but it's right behind me. That'll be the next one that comes up. We're going to do a little carving on that one. As far as uh, an actual design, other than just getting the mark off. It'll be coming up. I'll do some more. As I learn, I get better. We'll uh, see how it turns out. So thanks for watching. If you guys really enjoyed this, hit, hit the like and subscribe. It'll help our channel grow. We're not all about walking sticks. We're also about retirement and what we do in retirement. We have other videos out there. Gardening, traveling, up in the mountains, wildlife whatever we do fishing we're gonna do it all so hope everyone has a great day take care and we'll see you on the next one